Hey team, so today we're working on the lower back. It's been highly requested and it's finally here. We're gonna be working on a few strength and flexibility exercises that are gonna help with alleviating lower back pain, especially when done regularly over a long period of time. I do recommend doing this workout two to three times per week for the best results. It's gonna take about 30-ish minutes. The warm up is included in this workout and we'll be working on both strength and flexibility. So without further ado, let's jump right into our warm up. We're gonna start off with some basics. We got a cat and a cow. So let's come down to hands and knees like so. And we'll start by rounding the back, tuck the chin and exhale. And then inhale, arch the back and look up, bringing the shoulders together. So when we're rounding the back for the cat stretch, focus the stretch on the lower back and we're arching the back for the cow stretch try to bring the shoulders together and focus on the upper back. So let's go for about 45 seconds for some cat and cow. Here we go. Okay, so that's from this same position, we're gonna go side to side. So lateral cat and cow. So start by looking over one shoulder and bend your spine sideways and then go the other way. So look over the other shoulder and bend the spine sideways. So we're gonna go 45 seconds, let's begin. Okay, so our final warm up movement it, uh, for the spine is gonna be, let's work on some rotation. So bring your elbows to the floor and hands up by your head. And then from here, we'll take one arm up to the sky, hold for one to two seconds, and then alternate other arm up to the sky. So again, 45 seconds, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so let's lay down on the stomach and we're gonna work on some scapular retraction or shoulder blade retraction. So lay down on the stomach and we're gonna bring the arms into a W position overhead and keep your forehead on the floor. And all we're gonna do from here is bring the shoulders together and down the back and lift the elbows off the floor and then back down. So shoulders come together and down the back, lift the elbows off the floor and down. So we'll do 10 reps here. So let's go ahead and begin. We'll start shoulders together, down the back and lift the elbows. That's one. Together and down the back, lift the elbows. Two. And let's continue with this. Three. Four. 
four. Five. Six. It's just getting the shoulders together. Like you're holding a pencil. Seven. Eight. And two more. Nine. Final one. Ten. And our final warm up movement is going to be for the hips. We're going to do some hip openers. So let's have a seat on the bum. Sit nice and tall so that your tailbone is off the floor and open your hips up to about 90 and knees bent to 90. And then from here, use your hands behind you to prop yourself up nice and tall. And we're gonna swivel the hips side to side. So try not to turn your whole pelvis. We're just gonna rotate the thigh bones. Only go down as far as you can without twisting your whole body. And we'll go side to side for 45 seconds. Let's begin. So let's go ahead and get started with the work. So we're gonna start with a McGill crunch. So this is gonna train the front of your core. So let's lie down on the back to start. And we're gonna do five reps with each leg. So let's start with the right foot on the floor so your knee is lifted. And then take your hands under your lower back. And we're trying to maintain a neutral spine. So we wanna have enough space under your lower back so that you can fit your fingers, but not your entire palm. And that's a neutral spine position. Okay, so once you've found this neutral spine position, we're gonna maintain that exact amount of arch in your back. So don't let your spines smush into the floor. Keep your elbows off the floor. And then we're gonna lift the chest and head off the floor as a unit. So try not to crunch your head first and then chest. We wanna lift straight up like we're bringing the chest and face straight to the ceiling. And then from here, we're gonna lift and hold for three. So come on up and hold one, two, three, and then back down, okay? So round one, we're gonna do five reps on each side holding for three seconds. And round two, we'll do a 10 second hold for three reps on each side. So let's go ahead and begin. We'll hold up one, two, three, and try to maintain that neutral spine the whole time. Back up we go. One, two, three, that's two. And up is one, two, three, three. Two more, then we'll switch legs. And up, one, two, three. And last one, lift straight up. One, two, three and then switch your feet. So right leg straight, left leg on the floor, left foot on the floor, and let's continue. Lift, one, two, three, and down, keep the elbows off the floor, and up is one, two, three, two, three more. One, two, three, last two, one, two, three, and final one, one, two, and three. Okay, so we'll have a quick break with a 45 second glute stretch on each side. So take, keep your right foot flat. We'll take the left foot onto the right knee. And then from here, grab under your hamstring of your right leg. And then for this stretch, keep your tailbone on the floor. So don't let your back round. So only pull as close to your, your chest as you can without your tailbone leaving the floor and try to maintain that neutral spine. So we'll be at it for 45 seconds. Let's go ahead.
Okay, we can switch sides. So let's have the left foot on the floor, right foot on the knee, and then let's go ahead and begin the stretch. Tailbone stays on the floor. Okay, so middle crunch round two. So let's have the left foot on the floor and right leg straight. Take the hands under the lower back again. We're gonna do the same thing. This time we're gonna hold for 10 seconds in the crunch, three reps per side. So let's go ahead and get the hands under the low back. Make sure you maintain that neutral spine position, elbows up, and we're gonna go ahead in three, two, one. Let's lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and brief rest. And we'll go back up in three, two, one. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back down, quick rest. Let's get our last one, three, two, one. Here we go, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we'll switch sides. So let's get the right foot on the floor, left leg straight, and we'll start in three, two, one. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. And we'll start in three, two, one, here we go, lift. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Quick rest, last one. Let's get started in three, two, one, and up we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, so let's flip over to the stomach. We're gonna work on a swan raise. So we're gonna get the upper back muscles working. So go ahead and lie down on your stomach with your elbows on the floor so that your elbows are directly below your shoulders. And then we're gonna lie fully down into the stomach. And let's start by keeping your knees off the floor. So tops of the toes will be on the floor. Squeeze your thighs and your bum so that your knees are lifted and legs are straight. And then from here, use your hands to help you. And we're gonna lift up as high as you can and try to use mostly your upper back muscles to lift you. And we'll hold this for 10, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lay yourself down. Take a brief moment, you can wiggle your hips a bit, and let's go with number two. So use the hands and your upper back muscles. So start by using your hands to help you. Squeeze your thighs, get your knees off the floor, and lift, and we'll hold for 10. Lift as high as you can. Mostly use your upper, upper back muscles. Four, three, two, one, and lay back down. We're gonna do two more of these, but this time lift your hands off the floor. So let's go ahead and lift up as high as you can. Keep your knees off the ground and we'll hold and then lift your hands and try to maintain as much height as you can for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back down we go. And we'll do that one more time. So let's go ahead and lift. Use your hands to assist you. Lift nice and high, high as you can without any pain or discomfort. And then lift the hands and hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's come down to the knees. Send your hips back for a child's pose. 
So bring your bum right down to your heels and bring your forehead into the mat and arms overhead and let your low back relax. Okay, let's come back to the stomach. We're gonna do those swan raises one more time. So again, we'll do two for 10 seconds with hands on the floor and two hands off the floor. So let's go ahead and get ready. Tops of the feet on the floor, squeeze your thighs. And let's lift the upper back. And use your hands about 20% of the effort and upper back the 80%. Five, four, three, two, one. And take a quick rest. And we'll do that again. So let's go ahead and lift up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And back down we go. All right, next ones, we're going to take the hands off the floor. So let's go ahead and lift and remove your hands. Hold as high as you can without pain. And let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and back down we go. And the last one, let's go ahead and lift. Nice and high for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. All right, let's come on up. We're gonna work on some hip internal rotation. So we're gonna start in a 90-90 position. So let's take your right knee to a 90 degree angle, and then the hips are at a 90 degree angle, and then the back knee is at a 90 degree angle. So you may have troubles sitting in this position and you might feel like you're leaning off to the side, and that's totally fine. Lean as much as you need and turn your chest to face towards your right thigh. And we're gonna be working on the left leg first. So we're gonna try and keep the knee down on the floor. So lean to the right as much as you need to be able to get the foot even just the tiniest bit off the floor. And then as soon as you've found the minimum amount that you need to lean in order to get the foot off the ground, let's maintain that torso position. So the goal is to be as upright as you possibly can, but it's okay to lean to the side. So let's go ahead and find our position here so that you can get your foot off the floor even just the smallest amount and lean as much as you need to be able to do that. So I'll sit up nice and tall. And then once you're in position, we're gonna do 10 reps. We're gonna lift and hold for two seconds. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's get the left foot off the floor and hold one, two. That's one. And up we go. One, two, that's two. And let's continue this. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. Ten. Oh, it's normal to cramp in that muscle. Let's flip over and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So, Take the body to face the left. So we've got the 90 and 90 with both the left and right. Face over toward your left thigh and use your hands to prop yourself as tall as you can and then find one rep. So lean as little as possible so that you can lift your back foot. Chest is gonna face the left and let's go ahead and begin. We'll start, hold for two seconds. Let's go up one, two is one. And up we go, hold one, two, that's two. And let's continue. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and final one, 10. Perfect. All right, we're gonna have a quick break with a hamstring stretch, and then we'll get into our, some more of our strength work. So let's have a seat with the leg, le left leg out in front. You can take your right leg bent so that your foot is on your thigh. And focus here, not on reaching towards your foot and stretching your lower back. We actually wanna sit tall and think about taking your pelvis and tilting it like this. So if your hips were a bucket of water, we're gonna try and pour all the water out the front of the bucket. So focus more on keeping your spine nice and straight and bring your chest forward and up, and that'll help you feel more of the hamstring. And you can press the thigh into the floor. Let's do this for about 45 seconds. So with these longer hold stretches, try to keep the intensity of the stretch to a six or seven, something you can hold for a decent amount of time, but it's not so intense that you have to stop and start. switch sides so take the right leg straight left leg bent along the thigh and again let's tilt the pelvis forward and we'll get started three two and one let's begin We're gonna move into some side planks. So if you're starting out, we can do this from the knees. So line yourself up so that your knee and elbow are in line with each other from the side and your knees will be bent. And then that way when you lift into the plank, you're gonna lift your hips forward and try to form a straight line between your knees all the way up through the midline and then stacked over top of your elbow and then Press your elbow into the floor and lift nice and tall. So straight, stay as straight as you can, hips stacked. Once you get a little bit more advanced, we can switch to doing from the feet. But for today, let's focus on the knees. So we're gonna be here for 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and get ready. Three, two, and one. Let's lift so your body's in a nice straight line. We've got 30 seconds on the clock. Stay as stable as you can and try not to let your hips drop or rotate. Strengthening a muscle called the QL. It's an important lower back muscle. Maintain that bit of a brace, like someone's about to hit you in the stomach to help maintain a good core position. 10 more seconds. And three, two, one, excellent. And we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the other side. So again, have your knee and your elbow in line so that when you lift up, your hips are gonna travel forward and you'll be in a perfectly straight line. So we're gonna be here for 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and get tall through the armpit. In three, two, and one, let's begin. Try to keep a straight line between your knees through the midline, small brace in the core like someone was about to punch you in the stomach and tall through your armpit to stay straight. That's the halfway mark now. And three, two, one. Excellent stuff. Okay, so let's get ready. We're gonna do 
an inner thigh stretch with a butterfly position. So have a seat with the bottoms of your feet together. Adductor tightness can sometimes be correlated with low back pain. So let's go ahead and get into this position. So bottoms of the feet together and sit your heels as close to your bum as you can. And really try to get your tailbone off the floor by tilting the pelvis forward. Once you're in position, pull your knees out and down, chest high. We're gonna be here for 45 seconds. Now let's begin. Keep pulling your knees out and keep trying to straighten out your back. And once you get really flexible with this, you can start leaning forward to increase the stretch. Time. Okay, so our final strength movement for today is going to be a bird dog. This is a fantastic, fantastic movement. You see it a lot in, in a lot of body weight disciplines like Pilates and yoga. Gets the job done. So we're going to come on to a hands and knees position. Now, one thing that can help make this movement better is to grab something and place it directly under your belly button as a point of reference. So you can use like a cell phone or just anything. Just stick it under your belly button and try to maintain having your belly button over that the entire time so that you're not wobbling to the side when you lift your hand in your knee. So we're gonna start today by lifting the left hand and right knee at the same time. So from this hands and knees position, start by firmly pressing your right hand into the floor so that your arm is nice and straight and you're holding a lot of your weight and then firmly pre press your left shin into the floor. And then we're gonna gently raise the right foot and the left arm and extend them far from each other. And then we're gonna do 10 of these, so that's one. Back down to center, and let's go ahead, press the right hand firm, and lift and extend. Hold for a second, that's two. Perfect, and let's continue. Lift and hold, extend, three. Try to maintain a neutral position so that you're not wobbling to the side. Extend is four. And extend, five. Stay as stable as you can, halfway. Six, seven, three more, eight, and last two, nine, final one, extend, ten, and perfect. Okay, we'll take a quick rest by lying down on the back. And we'll take the left knee to our tabletop position. Take your right hand to the outside of the knee and we'll bring that leg across the body for a nice low back stretch. And you can turn your head to look left. Hold this for 45 seconds. Let's go ahead. And then we get to do the other side. Come on out of that. And we're gonna do the other side now. So let's come back to our hands and knees and we'll start by firmly pressing your left hand into the floor and firmly pressing the right shin into the floor. And we're gonna take the left leg and right hand off the ground and extend. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's take the right leg back, sorry, <laughs> left leg back, right hand forward and hold and extend one, two, and then back down. And remember to keep the belly buttons 
squared and let's go ahead up extend one two that's two and we got ten up and extend one two is three and extend one two that's four there we go one two halfway one two is six one two that's seven three more one two eight and one two nine final one one two is ten all right and let's finish up we'll lie down on the back this time take your right leg up to table top left leg long and we're going to take the left hand to the outside of your right leg and bring your leg across to stretch the low back to finish 45 seconds let's go time okay guys that's the workout for today so don't forget if you found today helpful to hit the like button and consider subscribing if you aren't already we have mostly mobility content and flexibility with the odd strength body weight focused workout here and there if you want to see more of this just leave us a comment down below with some requests and we'll get to it when we can we'll see you guys in the next one